Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So it is really hot. We have had temperatures, well, today is gonna to be like 108 degrees. Yesterday was 106. Tomorrow's gonna to be 105. A Couple days ago, it was 105. I mean, we've just been having incredibly high temperatures. It's record breaking right now. So all of my plants are suffering. This is a shade cloth. And shade cloths are very beneficial for the garden, especially if you live in the south where I'm at, where you get high, high temperatures. I'm going to bring you guys in. I'm going to show you how I constructed it. I'm sorry I didn't bring you guys along for the construction itself, but pretty straightforward. You can see kind of what I did here. So, so as you can see, my corn, and corn likes higher temperatures, but even the corn started getting fried. Um, the tips of the leaves were, were suffering. Um, the, the corn just was not doing well. So I really had to shade it from, especially the afternoon sun. Right now we're getting sun because the sun rises over here. You can see the sun right there, rises this way and then sets over here. So we've got it open here for the morning sun at least, right at noon and then late afternoon is when the, the heat of the day really kind of fries these. So, so they're doing good now. I put this up yesterday because the temperatures I just, I saw I was just gonna fry them so let me show you what i did here i've got a t-post here a t-post there and another t-post there and i also did a t-post there and there so these t-posts i think are five and a half foot so it ends up after you put them in a little bit it ends up being like maybe four foot okay and then i took some pvc and first i did pvc here so i did two arcs up over and I just put them on with some zip ties, okay? Right around this, and I need to probably, it got bent over a little bit, that's okay. Really probably should have put it on this side, but that'll work still, it's holding it. Um, so, and I zip tied to the other side and made a, an arc over. And then right up here, um, so right up here, I rested another T-post here and zip tied. That's gonna hold it. Um, to be able to keep it on top of here, it's hard to see through the cloth, but I put a, I put a garden stake down like that and I zip tied the garden stake once and then was able to zip tie around that to hold it in. And then same thing here, you can see. And there's that garden stake you can see. And then I was able to take these little clips and clip this shade cloth up over. And I'm, excuse my rooster, every time I come out and film, he wants to be part of the video, I think. Um, I staked it, each corner down because it has these eyelets I could stake down. You can see. And then I wrapped it up over and, and connected with these at three points. And then... I also tied off like so to keep it from moving because these will slip, okay? Especially in the wind, but there we go. That's how I did that one. Um, the reason why I put it up on T-posts, you could just do this right into the ground um, with just like a little, little stake and have it short if you had smaller plants, but corn grows tall. And so I wanted to give this enough time um, I've, it'll probably come and reach up over this, but I'll be taking this down within, within a month at least. Cause our temperatures are going to be dropping, uh, within a month or so. So, um, but right now in the hundred plus degree heat, it's needed. So I'll keep this up until they get too tall for it. Next, I've got this one up on my beans. So this is a little different. All I did was connect them to the ground with those stakes and then... I just stretched it up over because I already had this uh, trellis here. So I just stretched it up over and then just tied off. And so again, morning sun they get. I'm shading as you can see because the sun's behind me. It's shining this direction. It's open for them. But once the sun reaches up overhead like here, it's going to be blocking the shade. And over here, it's going to it's going to block the shade. So I got the T-posts over at Tractor Supply. You can get five of them, which is what I use. You can get five of them for, uh, I forget what the price is. They're not that expensive. They're like five, six bucks each. Um, you also, with when you get five, when you get a five pack, they give you those T-post connectors. So if you ever build a fence, 
you got them, make sure you get that pack. It'll help you put up the cattle panel against them um, if you ever need to use that. The PVC I got over at Home Depot. Make sure that you get the right size PVC for whatever clips that you get. You can get these clips online. And by the way, I got them on Amazon. I will link to the Amazon link where I got these if you're interested. And this shade cloth is a 40% shade cloth. I think they come in 30, 40, uh, 50, and then, you know, they keep on going up from there. You definitely don't want to go any more than 40 because you still want some light to come through. So that's what these are, they're 40%. And they were a really good deal. So this is a 10 foot this way and a 20 foot this way. So um, if you're interested in these, I will link below to where I got them on Amazon. I wanna say they were like 25, 30 bucks each. And they're heavy duty. I've used them for a couple seasons now. They've got these nice grommets on there and I haven't had any problem with rippage or anything. We've had some heavy winds, so they're they're good quality. There we go. This is, uh, like I said, a quick, easy, inexpensive way to shade your plants and keep them from getting scorched by the sun if you live down in the south where I do. Like I said, 108 degrees today. It's going to be rough. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind